Hello and welcome back to another episode of HVAC system design with the channel of the world of building design. So in this tutorial, we want to look at the, the way that the uh, hydronic system are controlled, specifically in the uh, coil where you have the air stream in the duct work and you have a uh, hydronic coil. Uh, what are the type of um, you know control system are commonly used in the HVAC industry? So the two main type are uh, two-way valve control system and three-way valve um, arrangement. So we're going to have a quick look at each of this option and uh, review how the fluid is uh, recirculated in a heating coil in this two different configuration. So if you look at the first uh, diagram here, I'm going to highlight the first diagram here. So in a two-way valve, controlling um, if you call it for hot, hot water uh, recirculation and if you have this heating coil um, located in, in your air handling unit or it is in the uh, in the dock fork in, 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 in the air stream oftentimes you need to modulate the uh, hydronic flow into the heating coil or chill water cooling coil uh, the reason being is that um, depending on your space temperature or the command coming from your main central um, air handling unit or your air distribution unit, uh, you would like to uh, respond to different uh, temperature fluctuation. If you look at symbol here that shows a two-way valve, when we, when we say two-way, it means that um, the hot water uh, has only two-way to pass through. These valves oftentimes are controlled, whether uh, they are controlled by um, you know, pneumatic or uh, digital control system. Uh, most of the time this is controlled automatically. And uh, you can assume that this can also be connected to a thermostat. So if we have a thermostat in a room, um, I'm just trying to draw like a thermostat on the wall in a room. Uh, depending on your set point and the temperature of the room, uh, you would like to have the command or signal sent to your control valve to either open or close this valve to modulate the flow going into your uh, heating or cooling coil. And that's in fact will respond to the temperature of the air passing through this coil and is introduced into your space. So basically that's the, the simplest way uh, or uh, the, the sequence of operation of how the valve should operate. The way that the two-way valve operate is that on the, on the outside of the coil and the valve um, assembly system is that um, your main system or main hydronic distribution system will respond, will respond to to the modulation or the position of this valve. If your valve is in, say, 30% open position, it will create higher pressure drop across the coil. And that higher pressure drop across the coil causes the, the proportional flow to pass through the, to, through the coil. It means that if you increase the pressure in the valve or pressure drop in the valve, you would get less flow through the valve. And we have talked about this in the previous tutorial many times. There are that um, uh, you know, relationship between the flow, pressure drop across a valve, as well as the CV of a valve, which is the constant coefficient of a valve that is provided by the manufacturer. So um, you can create higher pressure drop across the valve and get lower uh, flow passing through the valve. So that's something you have to you have to look into your valve and size it and make sure that you select the proper type of valve for this type of control. Um, so this is two-way valve system is in fact a type of um, a type of control that requires a variable flow um, hydronic system. When we say variable hydronic flow, it means that if you have many of this type of uh, coil across your entire hydronic loop, um, your hydronic flow will modulate overally and in response to the valve's position across all the portfolio of all the equipment you have in that uh, heating loop 
or cooling loop. So if, say, all the valves are in closed position, uh, you get much higher pressure drop across your loop, and then your system provide a response to that by modulating down the uh, hydronic recirculation into your total loop. And if all of your valves is open, it means that the pressure drop is reduced and then now you have to build up much more flow in your total hydronic loop to respond to the flow requirement of each of your individual terminal units or your hydronic users. That's why the variable uh, volume system might, uh, might be more uh, efficient as a whole uh, when it comes to design of hydronic system in the HVAC industry. In the second option, we can look at the um, three-way valve uh, arrangement. Uh, in this arrangement, uh, normally the um, control three-way valve is put on the return side of the coil. As you can see here, there are multiple ports associated with this, which is actually three ports associated with the, with the three-way valve. The two ports of this valve, as you can see, you have normally closed, normally open, and this is basically to allow the, the flow that comes to your coil. It means that if your normally closed valve position or in, the, in this section on the return side, if it is open 20%, it means that the diverting portion of the valve where my cursor is, is 80% open. It means that the 80% of the chill water coming through this line is diverted through here, going back to the system, only 20% comes into your um, heating coil and circulates into your um, uh, heating or cooling coil and uh, provides the uh, heat transfer uh, effect. Your return side valve is 100% open. It means that you want the entire flow designed for that coil to circulate through that coil. And then this means that your diverting side of the valve, three-way valve, will be fully closed and there is no flow coming there. So 100% goes into the coil, 100% comes out. As I said, you can modulate that. So this basically uh, in response to the constant flow uh, type of heating or hydronic loop uh, where you don't have a modulation uh, on the hydronic uh, fluid as a whole in your entire loop, uh, but you want to have modulation locally into the heating or cooling coil in the space. So the two arrangements are very common in the HVAC industry uh, designing for the hydronic circuits. And uh, we can discuss about this topic in the future uh, tutorial in more detail with more detail about the control and other parameters that can be uh, taken into account. Uh, the other very important factor plays in this uh, schematic is for you to look at the constant coefficient of the valves that we discussed in the previous tutorial. I recommend you to look at those. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video. I recommend you to go ahead and subscribe if you're interested in uh, this type of lessons uh, about the HVAC system design and um, press on the notification bell to see the new tutorials as soon as they are posted. Thank you very much for watching.